What is up guys? Today I have something very important to show you. Guys, today I am about to be reunited with my Sega Genesis. So I ordered one from eBay. I'm going to open this baby up right now. It's been many years since I last had a Genesis, guys. I think I got rid of my Genesis when I was like, I don't know, seventh grader or something. Why? Because it did not work, okay? I had a Model 2 Genesis and it just, it sucked. It did not work, but I've been looking forward to getting one recently, you know, and now I have one, finally! So this is my first time even seeing this bad boy, guys. This is gonna be an epic moment. So here we go, we're getting this box opened up. It's a big box! It looks like I'm gonna need to clean this, it, you know. There's a lot of scuffs on here. <sighs> Boom! There's a Genesis controller, and guys, yes! The first thing I see, guys, this is the game I'm most looking forward to playing. Sonic 2. Man. I had a lot of fun playing this back in the day. This was a game I spent a lot of time with. So let's continue to get this stuff. Oh, Aladdin. <laughs> I'm gonna have like three copies of Aladdin, but it's all mine. Alright, let's continue on here. Okay, so this is not the box I was thinking of. <laughs> um, there's two Genesis controllers in here. Oh yeah, Sonic 1. And we got some Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Set that aside. And guys, this is the main event. This is the main event. Cue the cue the Guiles theme from Street Fighter. Let me just let me just take some time here to get this thing out. It's nice and gently wrapped, just the way it ought to be. And the games, you know, are mostly in pretty good condition, by the way. They mostly look pretty good. And the Genesis doesn't look that bad either. Okay. Here what we have is a Model 1 Sega... <laughs> I heard like a rock in there. Here's a Model 1 Sega Genesis. So as you guys noticed, there is not the high definition graphics. I did a lot of research on this. There is a ton of different models for the Genesis. Much like every system, I suppose. But this one seems to be the most specific. Um, about the pros and cons with every console. The pins seem to look really good. Seems like it wasn't used too much. Boom! There we go, guys. That's a Sega Genesis. But wait! There's more! See, when I when I get into something, and when I start liking something, I decide to buy multiple consoles. So, just in case, I might need more. And plus, I don't like to make up my mind with things like, which Genesis should I get? So I'm like, why don't I just get two? There's another box to open. Let me see if I missed anything from the first box before we move on to that, though. Looks like we have an official power brick and uh, mono cords and... Oh, there's some more games! <laughs> okay, good thing I didn't just move on from that. We also got Clue. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's Pit Fighter. Uh, Spider-Man and VR Troopers, guys. We're getting a collection already. Okay, let's set all these things aside. Did I say we got games? Oh, we got games. And there's more on the way, so this is only the beginning. Nothing can stop me now. The first thing I'm greeted by in the second box is Championships Pro-Am. So I probably will never play that, but we're gonna set that aside anyway. Nice having that. Okay, so this comes in wrapping paper. All right, now this thing's a beauty. This comes in newspaper, I should say. Look at this beautiful High definition graphics, Sega Genesis. Model number, well let me just show you guys. Right there, you should be able to see that clearly. If you can't, now you, now you should. Now you should be able to see it clearly. So guys, this is gonna open up a whole new set of games on the Sega Genesis. Let me tell you what I used to do before. I already have a Sega Genesis collection 
and I have games already. Like I said, I'm, this is gonna be like my third copy of Aladdin, but I used to play it on the Retron 3 or the Retro Trio. It's called a Retro Trio. And for whatever reason, whenever I'd try to stream it or hook it up to my Elgato, it would come back in black and white. And so that's just not gonna, uh, no, no, no. I, I cannot, cannot do it like that. It has to be color. So let's see what else we have here, guys. I said we got games. We got games. All right. Tenjin, uh, that's not the name of it. Okay, RBI Baseball 94 by Tenjin. Yes, all right. Uh, <laughs> okay, Sword of Vermilion. That seems like a game I'd like. That's a nice name. Why does every one of these seem like there's a freaking rock in there, like a pebble, like a little piece of gravel? Um, I'll have to clean all these out. Probably open them all up. Do it the real. Do it. Do it. Do it the real way. Okay, another set of games here. And you guys are probably wondering how much I spent for all this. And that's something I can tell you, because I'm not so weird about all that stuff like most people are. All right. So what I spent was a little over a hundred dollars. Boom. There you have it. I think it was 65 for one of them and like 45 for another. 110 bucks, is that right? Yeah. So, I think that's about all I spent. All right, we have an official, it appears, possibly. Um, can't say if that's a real or not, but more uh, cords. Who cares about the cords? Another loose copy of Aladdin. That's my third copy of the game, guys. Third copy of Aladdin. Boom, boom, yes. Okay, and we have what appears to be a power brick. Yep. Third party power brick, see? I like to have official stuff, not this universal retro, retro bit. Universal AC adapter, more like garbage bit. Let's set that aside. All right, you have to have some more games in here, don't you? What's all this? Newspaper, huh? Can't say I'm the biggest biggest fan of that. Where's my bubble wrap, right, J-Love? Another Sega Genesis controller. This thing looks to be in pristine condition. Um, oh my, these buttons. Whew, these buttons feel real good, guys. Oh yeah, compared to these, this thing feels like really good, like just brand new. Wow, yes. I'll be using this one to beat the games. Look at all these games I got. This is incredible. Uh, <laughs> manuals and posters? We got manuals and posters, guys. What? He never told me he was doing that. College Football 95. EA Sports. It's in the manual. Um, and a poster for, like, Football 95. That's, that, that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. I mean... I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but he probably thought the same thing. Like, well, I ended up saving these. Maybe somebody would have cared to see that, but hey, man, I have it. So I'll store it. I'm not going to throw it. I learned my lesson. But wait, there's more. I, I'm surprised here. It's like, when is the, what's the end of this box? What's the end of this damn box going to be? Okay, guys, a nice copy of Toy Story on the Sega Genesis. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. So, I never even seen the movie for that. Yeah, but anyway, I own that. Uh, let's see, and we got another copy of Sonic 1. So this is a better copy than what I showed you guys before. Um, let's compare the two. Boom. Maybe I can link these two systems together and uh, do, some, do some cool things with that. May, may, possibly not. All right, let's continue on. I think this is our final, this is the final go here. Got a couple more games. Madden 94. See, I remember Genesis always had these yellow things on some of the older cartridges. I still don't even know what, what, what that is. But uh, I remember seeing that back in the day on some of these older carts. I don't think you're supposed to do anything like such as rip it open or nothing. I'm just going let it, to let it be. As you can see, guys, like these are like the newer ones, I think. And these are the old school ones. See, it's much different in height and size, you know. These ones are longer. These ones are longer, these ones are taller. So, I don't know what that's all about. I feel like these ones are the newer ones though. There's one more game, guys. What is it? Yeah, there's one more. The final game. 
is College Football 95. Value of about two cents. But, hey man, just in case some of those college players, I wonder if there's any college players from back in the day that play today. You know, like for example, even a guy like Tom Brady, has, he hasn't been in the league for 24 years. I mean, right? Am I thinking of that correctly? 95 till now is 24. Those guys are all retired. 95, huh? Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe back in 2009 or something, some of those guys were playing still, but I don't think they're playing in 2019, guys. Anyway, that's the end of the box. We got all kinds of stuff. One of my favorite games of all time that I don't have yet is Fantasy Star 2. Finally, I'm gonna take a picture of all this glory. I'm gonna take a picture of all this glory and show you guys that now. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This is going to be awesome for the channel. I have a lot more games coming, so I expect I'm going to move my stuff from this room back to the game room probably in late September, early October. So until then guys, stay tuned and I will see you there.